Hello, dear professors. I'm Tian Song from Sun Yat-sen University in China. It's my great honor to deliver a video here. Today, I want to share one of my most challenging projects I've ever had with you. In July 2017, I got a chance to work as an assistant in a quantitative research group on systematic risk. At the beginning, I could not do much work because I majored in mathematics and applied mathematics and lacked the basic knowledge of finance. So, I was assigned to read the latest journals and report weekly in a seminar. Even such easy work was very difficult for me at the time because there are too many terminologies on the paper which made them difficult for me to understand. However, I didn't give up. I went to the professors and my friends who majored in finance for help. After struggling for months, I improved a lot and can quickly grasp the key of each paper and find the holes and innovations. Sometimes I could even provide some interesting idea to the professors. For instance, one day I was inspired by a paper written by the McDonald Numbers Bank and told the professor that we could establish a new index based on the harmonic distance to measure the influence between each banks. The professor was very interested in this idea and decided to finish the paper with me together. I was very, very excited at the time because I believe if we could finish it, it would be a great achievement. However, soon after we started to establish the new index, we, find we could not find a clear way to explain the economic significance of this new index. So, we had to review our research plan and turn back to the literature to find out if we missed something. After reviewing the literature, we changed our focus and decided to establish the new index by computing the partial derivatives of the aggregate repayment of the financial network in respect to the initial endowment of the each agent. With the application of the Lagrangian multiplier methods and KKT condition, we successfully established the systematic risk contribution index. This index will help us measure how the marginal nodes influence to the central nodes and this can provide a new method for risk prevention. Through this experience, I acquired the basic knowledge of quantitative finance and get to know the process of setting a model and empirical research. I believe this could help me improve and adapt to the postgraduate study much easier. More importantly, I believe this experience could help me in, the, in my future career because as a cons, I need to update the existing models or create some new models to seek for the higher return rate for the customer's investment. And this is what I did in the research group.